Salam alaikum y'all. Back today for episode two of my problematic behavior and I would like to talk about laughing at racist jokes. Um, I was one of those for years that said it's totally okay, comedy is comedy and it's a way to bring it out into the light. But I gotta say, my views on that have not changed entirely, but they have changed drastically for sure. As far as comedians, I mean, if you have a, a huge worldwide platform and you're a comedian telling racist jokes, Honestly, it kind of depends on the context. Uh, if you're just telling them for the fun of it and everybody's just laughing like it's okay, that's going to be a problem. But if you're telling a racist joke to bring to light an issue that people may have never considered, then that could actually be helpful in the grand scheme of things. Uh, feel free to discuss examples in the comments. I will likely come back and make another video with examples later, but right now I'm just kind of touching on this issue. Um, now, when it comes to a private individual such as myself telling racist jokes, I am no longer okay with that at all. Now if I can if I can find a funny way to say something that brings light to racial justice issues that's one thing but your classic one-liners that everyone's heard, that everyone's racist grandpa and uncle tell at Thanksgiving, we've all heard them. There's no longer an appropriate time for them. Um, I mean, if your racist uncle wants to tell it at Thanksgiving, it's a wonderful opportunity to ask him to explain why it's so funny. It might not do anything to convince him, but your little nephew sitting in the room watching the entire conversation will hopefully get some kind of benefit out of it. And as far as just laughing when your racist uncle tells those racist jokes, misogynist jokes, xenophobic jokes, whatever kind, you need to understand that your little nephew is still in that room and he is still watching that interaction and your decision just to laugh about it tells him that that behavior is totally acceptable that that joke was just funny, that dehumanization is amusing, and the suffering of human beings is just for laughs. I don't see that as the same as, say, when Dave Chappelle jokes about racism, because when Dave Chappelle jokes about racism, it's because he's lived his entire life being harmed by it. And he's had to develop a coping mechanism to make life livable. I never understood that as much until I became Muslim. That definitely doesn't mean that I understand the black struggle. Just because I'm Muslim, just because I wear a hijab, I do not equate my struggle to anybody else's because 
when I get pulled over, all I got to do is turn up that southern accent and I can literally feel my white privilege coming back to me. It's real, y'all. And the fact that I'm wearing tie-dye, the fact that I got California listed as my birthplace is always going to give me a benefit in this world. My accent is always going to give me a benefit in this world. The color of my skin will always give me a benefit in this world. Yes, Muslims are oppressed. Yes, women are oppressed. But at the end of the day, there, it, there are trans, black, Muslim women in wheelchairs and a white person having one or more of those struggles will never equate to a black person's struggle in America. So, please don't get things misunderstood. I do not equate my struggle with the black struggle. But I will say that wearing the headscarf and walking around in public, it has shown me that America is a very different place depending on what you look like in society. So when we're all sitting around the table after Thanksgiving eating our dessert, and people start popping off with those plantation jokes. I know that every time I laugh at one, every time I tell one, I am perpetuating the problem. I am giving the message to anybody in the room that such behavior is okay. I didn't understand that as a regular ass white person because I mean when I was just a white girl what I did was what I did. It might have got blamed on my mental illness, it might have got blamed on my poverty, but it was just me. It wasn't like, oh Sarah did this awful thing so that must mean all white girls do these awful things no no but now the people that know me and I'm the only Muslim they know consciously or subconsciously a lot of them will assign what they know about me and how they feel about me to all Muslims so That means that I need to make it clear to people when they are saying and doing oppressive things to people that it's not okay. Because I don't want someone to tell a racist joke when I'm not around and have someone else call them on it and have them be like, oh no, I'm friends with Peanut Q Public and she's a white Muslim but, you know, she laughed at my racist joke, so it must be okay. I'm not going to be used as ammunition against an oppressed person who's trying to stand up for themselves and stand up for what's right. So, I don't get to make those racist jokes. I don't get to laugh at them and hopefully as long as I got the spoons that day if you tell them around me you don't get to do that without being called on it so I really hope that I can call you on it in a way that you'll still talk to me but Otherwise, I mean, it's not like, um,